Today, we're looking at a missed opportunity for most people out there, something that I have made thousands of dollars off of just because most people don't even look them up. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about some items that most people do not mess with these days. Now, when I'm out there sourcing, one area that most people don't mess with these days are the vintage video games for PC, IBM, and that sort of thing. The Tandy games, Tandy 1000 and stuff. We're talking about old video games like this Sid Meier Civilization 3 collection here. This is a sealed NOS game, and I find tons of sealed games these days. They're all over the place still. I can buy them in big box lots sometimes. Most people don't assume there's much value in them. What I see most people doing wherever I'm at, estate sales, garage sales, flea markets, wherever I go, people are going for the PlayStation games, the Xbox games, and things like that. These sorts of games are missed most places I go, and I can score out all the time on these. Now, even individual loose discs like this Neverhood. This is the Neverhood, which is an excellent, excellent game. This loose disc here will get me 50 bucks plus. I found a dozen plus of these games. I found a few in the boxes, too. In the box, they can go for hundreds. The Sid Meier Civilization here, sealed like this, I'll get well over 100 bucks. Just loose, all complete, they can go for 40 to 50 bucks any day of the week. I paid 50 cents a piece for these as well as almost 60 more in a big bulk bin lot. I had to buy them all to get them for 50 cents a piece. There's some in there that aren't worth the fortune, but all told, these sorts of purchases here can make you thousands of dollars. Let's show you some of the best ones to be looking out for right this minute because they are super, super hot right now. So just like vintage computers, some of the games that go with those vintage computers can go for some good money. Especially these odd and obscure titles like this one here. This is Ultima 1 and it comes with another one as well. This is pretty interesting. I have not seen this one before. There are some price guides and some online collector forums which go over prices and which ones are rare. And this is one I just haven't seen myself before. As you can see, it went very well. 63 bids, 6650 I always look for these sorts of things. Any of the earlier ones, most everybody's going after all the new stuff, PlayStation, Xbox, and all those. Most people leave the boxes for the IBM PC DOS version of games on the shelf. Now, hot ones which are climbing are ones that still are a franchise, ones that still have games coming out that are still played right now, like Fallout. Now, when the video games started to come into the market, a lot of the PC games went to clearance because everybody wanted a video game where you could just play whatever you wanted, a disc, and off you went. These did start to gain in popularity, and you can see by the price, the amount of bidders, 91 bidders, what this went for. Excellent, excellent. Sealed is what you want. The sealed ones. NOS, perfect example. I don't know if somebody would actually play this. I bet you they will keep it closed just as you see it. Big Fallout fans, I would say. Now, I'm an old-school Warcraft player when they first came out for the PC. I had all those. Diablo is one of my favorite games. This one here went for almost $4,000. It's the standard collector's edition, sealed in the box. Again, sealed. Sealed copies of these old video games show up far more often than you would think. I'm always surprised to see stacks of them sometimes. Even games that are good that will go for some excellent money sitting there for a few bucks at an auction, a second-hand store, or anything along that line. Another well sought after franchise, Doom, obviously movies, the whole works. This has been around for a very long time. These are three and a half inch floppy drive discs. Real early, 1993, id software, excellent, over a thousand bucks, new sealed. Sealed, obviously, just like anything else, if this was a record or something like that, sealed is what you want. NOS, new old stock. Now, as rare as Doom itself is, Final Doom from the next year is even harder to get, especially in a sealed box like this. $3,650, 57 bids. Now, one thing you notice, most of these are auctions. There are some categories which I would only list 
as an auction because sometimes the price can go phenomenally well as an auction format for some of these games. There's so many people that want these early games that there's enough interest that you can still garner an auction status on many of these and do phenomenally well. It would be hard to throw a price on something like this because of the fluctuation in the market. So I would put it up for my baseline, what I expected the bottom end to be as an auction and just let it run from there. Now, my all-time favorite game is Diablo. It's one that I've played since it originally came out. I personally purchased this version just to get Hellfire at one point. This is a mix mash of different manufacturers. Diablo is made by Blizzard and Hellfire was made by Sierra. I think it's the only licensed version of an add-on level for any of these games, if I remember right. Of course, Sealed is best. I still have my original discs from when I personally first bought these, as well as the boxes they came in. Now, another aspect of vintage video games as many people are not aware of is you can have them graded. Here's a VGA graded 80 plus near mint Diablo 2. This is the collector's edition. Most of the editions of any of the Diablo original ones sealed in excellent condition will go for some crazy money in my book. I love this game. As I said, I've played all versions all the way up into three. Here's one I don't have to say much on. It's Metal Gear. This is by Ultra Games. Video, it's the original. IBM PC Tandy 1000, the original. 2000 bucks for this one sealed. Again, and most of these are sealed. Now this is Mech Warriors. Now most of these games came with two different versions of them. You had a three and a half inch and then a five and a quarter inch floppy. So if your machine had one or the other, you'd still be set with this. This looks like it's complete. 75 bids, monster amount of bids here, 1,294 bucks. Another hot title, still Half-Life right here. 24 bids, $1,247. The original big box version. Now you gotta be aware of the size differences in some of these two. This says big box. This is a large size box, much bigger than the video game I showed boxed in the beginning of this video. Now even some titles that you may not think are hot are obscure, so there's not many of them around. This is Big Rigs. Now this, if I remember right, was a staple at Walmart and Kmart and places like that. Just thrown out there for interest. $1,200 for this one and it's open. It's not a sealed copy. Here's an Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, A, D, and D. This is a first edition from 1991. It does look to be complete. One thing you'll notice, you can date a lot of these by the America Online on there. That kind of dates anything nowadays. That was the staple. That was the go-to internet connection back in the day. They gave away connection in every single packet of things that were sold back in those days. That was the number one at one time. Obviously, it's a datable way, at least now, with stuff like like that eleven $1 hundred dollars for this one here now vintage movie ones are obviously hot too this is dark crystal there's a new tv series out there so this one's hot just like dark forces from star wars that video game has gained in notoriety as well and it's sought after right this moment this is a pretty hot one here though eight hundred and ten dollars and this is another one of the earlier apple versions now, other games that I look for besides The Neverhood are any by Lucasfilm. Most of those are well sought after and can sell for some good money like this one here. This one's sealed, of course, though. This is Maniac Mansion, which is a well-known title for these style of old school games. Almost a thousand bucks. Now, you can't touch on Lucasfilms and vintage video games without talking about Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. Every one of these that I see up goes for some good money. It does not have to be sealed. 750 bucks on this one here. Lucasfilms made a lot of good games back in the day. Rebel Assault was one of my favorites, as was Rebel Assault 2. I actually have the boxed version with Dark Forces and the whole works in it myself, and I still play them. We actually set up an old vintage computer from 2003 just to play these types of games. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Caramel and real milk chocolate all rolled together. Rolo! You can roll a Rolo to your friend. It's chocolate covered caramel from end to end. <laughs> 